to One India News app. The Chinese e-commerce giant has started operations in India through Shopee. In the year 2020, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology invoked issued directions for blocking the mobile applications under Section 69A of IT Act 2000. There are various mobile applications which are being funded and are operating under the influence of Chinese entities and continue to operate in India through the smoke screen afforded by the global amaze of equity holdings and complex corporate structures. Such is the set of SPPIN which has been created to penetrate into the Indian e-commerce markets and is utilizing the Chinese investments through multiple and complex corporate structuring. SPPIN is incorporated in India to operate globally established e-commerce platform Shopee. The e-commerce brand Shopee is owned and operated worldwide by SEA Limited, an entity incorporated within the jurisdiction of Cayman Islands and offices in Singapore. The founder is Forrest Ziangdong Li, a Chinese-born, recently turned Singaporean citizen. SEA Limited is backed by Tencent, which owns approximately 43% of Class B shares. As such, no key business decisions in SEA Limited can be taken without the approval of Tencent. Recently, Tencent Cloud Computing Beijing Company Limited is disclosed as a related party to SEA Limited in its annual reporting to the Securities and Exchange Commission, United States. Further, the disclosure also states that SEA Limited uses Tencent Cloud to store their data. At the same time, the privacy policy states that your personal data and or information may be transferred to or stored or processed outside of India. In most cases, your personal data will be transferred to Singapore to be processed where its servers are located. It logically states that the data which will be collected from Indian citizens by Shopee through SPPIN will be stored and processed on Tencent Cloud. It shows how smartly the Chinese tech majors may have manipulated documents to meet their regulatory compliances. Moreover, the Memorandum of Association of SPPIN establishes the intention of the company and it clearly reflects on the model of operandi. In 2015, Shopee was launched in Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam and the Philippines. Recently, Shopee has decided not to continue the Shopee service in France whereas it is present in Spain and Poland in the form of localized versions of the app. Many products are sold on Shopee at low prices of Rs 1, Rs 9 and Rs 49 etc. This is a de deliberate pricing strategy adopted by the e-commerce giant with the intention of reducing prices of products to nonsensical and loss-making levels in the short term so as to undercut and extinguish small sellers and retailers in the long term, said the trader's body. As per CAIT, Chinese e-commerce companies have violated rules. It undercut and extinguishes offline players and micro and small scale businesses and retailers in the country and amounts to predatory pricing and unfair trade practice. A question remains unanswered. With these tactics, can Shopee win in India? Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. HP starts local manufacturing of laptops and other devices. Apart from making desktop towers, mini desktops and display monitors, US computer giant HP has started making laptops in India in a bid to boost the government's Make in India policy and production-linked incentive scheme for electronics. MD of HP India, Ketan Patel, said that this is the first time that HP is manufacturing such a wide range of laptops in India with products such as HP Elite Books, HP Pro Books and HP G8 series notebooks. Ukrainian citizens suffer from mass phishing attacks. Ukraine's state computer emergency response team has warned Ukrainians of a growing number of phishing attacks targeting devices in the country following the invasion by Russian armed forces. CERT UA said mass phishing emails have been observed targeting the accounts of Ukrainian military personnel and related individuals. CERT UA's warnings were verified by Ukraine's State Service of Special Communication and Information Protection. Flawed hardware encryption feature affects millions of Samsung Galaxy phones. A group of academics have disclosed details of severe design flaws affecting about 100 million Android-based Samsung Galaxy S8, S9, S10, S20 and S21 flagship devices that could have resulted in the extraction of secret cryptographic keys. On Android, the hardware-backed key store is a system that facilitates the creation and storage of cryptographic keys within the trusted execution environments, making them more difficult to be extracted from the device in a manner that prevents the underlying operating system from having direct access. 
Zoom launches contact center. Zoom has launched a contact center as a service product that focuses on providing video calling to the growing number of companies seeking a more visual interaction with customers. Zoom's contact center's capabilities include a drag and drop design for an automated telephony system that directs calls to the agent with the correct skill set. The software also has supervisor tools allowing managers to monitor agent productivity. It also offers voice calls with SMS messaging and web chat in beta and is expected to be available in the United States and Canada this week. U.S. researchers claim to discover highly sophisticated Chinese hacking tool. U.S. cybersecurity researcher firm Symantec has discovered a highly sophisticated Chinese hacking tool that has been able to escape public attention for more than a decade. The discovery was shared with the U.S. government recently who has shared the information with foreign partners. Symantec published its research about the tool which it calls Daxin Symantec's acknowledgement to China is based on instances where components of Daxin were combined with other known Chinese linked computer hacker infrastructure or cyber attacks. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.